Thanks to the supporters of channel member A11 Scorpio 1996. Here we go then, boys and girls. It all comes down to this. The tier eight playoff final. We've been at this level for two pesky years and we've just got one team, one match between us and the promised land of the seventh tier where we get to meet up with all of the academy teams again and probably get relegated. But, you know... Promotion is progress, and that's what we're looking for in today's episode. We are releasing this as a YouTube premiere as well, so if you are watching live, say hello down in the comments section. Drop us a hello, folks. Emote if you're a channel member. And uh, score predictions. We always like score predictions. Drop them in down there as well. Please let the predictions be a win. I really, really want to win. Hello and welcome to part 29 of Born in the USA. I'm Kevin. Coming up on today's episode, we have that playoff final with the Tier 8, the United States Lower League Promotion Playoff Final. It's FC Arizona versus Born Football Club USA. Um, I'm not sure where we're playing it. Should we go and have a little look? We like exploring the US through the medium of stadiums. We're playing at the Audrey J. Walton Stadium in Columbia. What state is Mo? Um, should we go find out where Colombia is? Some of you probably already know. I'm thinking the, the country, and it's it's probably not there. It might be there. Maybe we're off to South America. So it seems that Mo is Missouri. So it's Columbia, Missouri, which is sort of in between Kansas City and St. Louis, which is here. So quite not a million miles away from where we are. So I was going to say that it's probably about a thousand miles, but not a million miles. So we're all the way over here. And then Arizona is all the way down here. So I think they've tried their best to sort of get it roughly halfway between the two of us as well. It's a little bit nearer for us. And with the little tour that we've been on recently, um, as part of these playoffs, we, we went to Washington and then we came over so to Wyoming, was it? Is that where it was? No, yeah, Wyoming. We were over here. So we've gone from here down to here, all the way up to Wyoming. And now we're on our way home. Regardless of what happens today, we're halfway home. We'll be back in Bourne in two days, hopefully as a tier seven side. Because if we don't get promoted, I don't know how we're going to fund all of this traveling we've been doing as part of these playoffs. The bank balance is still looking distraught. Wage budget is still looking horrific. I hope there's some kind of competition prize money or uh, anything in the next tier up maybe we'll get some more fans because at the moment we only get about 250 people for our home games if we're lucky we need we need another revenue stream from somewhere we'll worry about that after the game though for now uh, we this is the team that we're putting out there the big news is Hu Yan is not available to play he is suspended for this match after an accumulation of yellow cards. So we're having to uh, shuffle things around a little bit up front. Jorge Alberto Hernandez is going out to the right-hand side because he's the only one of those three who can, really. Uh, so he's going out to the right-hand side despite being our main goal threat on this club record 13-game winning streak that we're on. It means we're going back to last season's all-conquering strike partnership. Stephen Stone, Jackson Hernandez, they got about 70 goals between them last year. They haven't really done it this year. Hopefully today's the day they recapture their form. So we're going with Saunders in goal, a back four of Nice, Sullivan, Brook and Garlic. Gone Calves and Briones in midfield. Williams and Jorge Hernandez out wide. Stone and Jackson Hernandez up front. Let's get into the game. Let's hopefully go and win the game. We want to end up in tier seven, boys and girls. That's what we're looking for here. It's a team we've never faced before. Arizona are a team who've been stuck at this level for three years now after their promotion. So hopefully they're not a glimpse into the future because um, we've only been stuck here for two years. It definitely is a little bit of a bottleneck in this pyramid where you go from a big wide base and you slam in really quickly to tier seven where we lose regional leagues at tier seven. These four... Um, regional leagues that we've got now squash into just one league, which means you only have that one promotion spot out of each division. It's why it's so hard to get out of these leagues. Last year, though, the playoff winners were the team from our league, Reading United, who knocked us out in the semi-finals, went on to win the playoffs, get promoted, and are actually in the playoffs in the league above now. 
That's not the start we wanted to see. Arizona going 1-0 up after 16 minutes. Maybe history's not going to repeat, repeat itself and give our league a second consecutive playoff win because we're behind in this game and we haven't really looked in it at all yet. There's not really been anything in the way of highlights. Um, let's, should we immediately drop a demand more? We are going to demand more. And hopefully that's going to get us back into the game almost immediately. Stone, it's such a poor pass looking for Hernandez. We had a nice little breakaway going on there through Briones, but Stone killed it dead. And now we've given the ball away. And so I thought Saunders was going to carry it over his line. If he had have done, I think I'd have just started heading home. We're halfway there. I'd have just walked the rest of the way if that if he carries it over his line there. Because that's that's the born from the first half of the season again. Briones with a wild tackle. And it's another shot from range from Arizona that this time luckily goes wide. But they seem very confident in shooting from range. And they've already shown once that they're pretty good at it as well. And we need to be aware of it. Uh, but we, uh, we've we not really shown any sign of getting into this game so far. We're going to offer a little bit of encouragement. I think we're going to have to get Jorge Hernandez up front because he's our goal threat. Although, there's our other goal threat. That's surely over the line from Brook. It's a headed goal line clearance. Brook trying to add his 14th goal of the season. That's our other big route to goal, of course. Jeff Brook from set pieces. But he is denied. They've scouted him. They had someone there ready to debrook us. Um, right, half time. What can we do? Who can we bring on the right? Mario Sanchez is going to come on on the right. We're going to go with the Hernandez up front. Stone's getting sacrificed. Sanchez on the right. And we're going to see if that can give us a little bit more attacking oomph. Hernandez out wide just isn't working. And um, Stone seemed like the obvious man to bring in, but Mario's here as well. So let's give him the run out on the right-hand side and go with what's been working on this run for the second half of this game. Corner from Hernandez. Sullivan can't get to it. And now Arizona have got a break 10 minutes into this second half. If they score another goal here, the uh, the, the playoff is as good as over because I don't see how we come back from 2-0 down with no momentum. It falls to Goncalves in midfield and Hernandez back to Goncalves again, who plays it forward again to Jackson Hernandez. And it's now Sanchez trying to, trying to get anything going but just tackled as soon as he starts his run. And now Arizona are resorting to just lumping it forward and we're lumping it back again. It's a proper tier eight playoff final, this. And it's with Arizona in midfield again, and they're just running at us. Can we get a can we get a tackle in and get the ball forward? Please and thank you. Saunders just letting the ball bounce it. So he knew he was he always knew where it was. There was never anything to worry about there. Apart from everything I was worried about there. Sullivan's on a yellow card. We're not going to worry about that. Brook is tiring, though, as is Jackson Hernandez. And that's the problem with making the halftime change. The only player I'd want to bring on for Jackson Hernandez in this circumstance is Stone, and he's off. So we're just going to have to have tired strikers. Gaza can come on in midfield. We make that change quite regularly. And then for my final trick, Torres is going to come on on this left-hand side. Um, we're going to play him as an out-and-out -out winger. We've got to go more attacking. How tall is Saunders? Not tall enough to send up for corners. Um, we're just going to go with this and hope that in the next 15 minutes we grab a goal from somewhere because at the moment this is just, this is giving me such flashbacks to last year's playoffs where we've just not really shown anything at all. And unfortunately, I think that's exactly what we're getting again and just nothing. Arizona have got a corner. And there's a minute and a half left. If we score here, that would be sensational. Sanchez is fouled. And I mean, it's a very cynical foul from Arizona because they know that he just stops the attack. This is it. This is the last chance. Torres with the ball forward. And there's nobody there to get on the end of it. I mean, of all the times to not even bother attacking. It was a poor free kick. And now Gaza's got himself sent off as well. I think he hasn't. It doesn't really matter one way or the other. There's 10 seconds left and Arizona have got the ball for a set piece. They're the ones who are going up to tier seven. We're going to have a third year in tier eight. To be fair, it serves us right. We never even deserved to be in these playoffs. We had a ridiculous run in the last couple of months of the season to drag ourselves back into the playoffs. But there's no excuses. We were rubbish for a lot of this season. This was a league that was ours for the winning this year. If we look at the points totals, um, so this year, hold on, 
This year, Baltimore promoted with 93 points. Last year, we got 94 points and then bottled the playoffs. So we only have ourselves to blame. We should have won the league. We've returned 83 points this year, so 11 points worse than the season before. We need to get back to this kind of form. Hope that nobody of the quality of Charlotte or Baltimore have got relegated from the division above and hope that we can go and win the league. I do not want to have to do these rotten playoffs again. I said we're Arizona. I had a little snippet of potential um, future for us. It took them three attempts to get out of tier eight. Next year is going to be our third attempt. We have to get out of tier eight next year or I just don't see how the club does anything other than go back into administration again. We need a rebuild and a reshuffle this summer. A lot of these fringe players are leaving. We build around the Hernandai and we go again. If you've enjoyed that, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for daily Football Manager videos. And thank you very much for watching.